Hello guys, today we're going to be going over how to do a grisaille painting in pastel using only white, gray, and black pastel to create a grayscale. Now, grisailles are used traditionally uh, for a lot of modern art, but also they are a very important part to classical painting because a lot of the times you use them as like an underpainting and then you can add colors and things to the to uh, above them right so the first thing the first part of any portrait is figuring out the facial map and figuring out where everything's going to be going in the composition so here i found this fun picture from quickposes.com of this jovial fellow and i'm going to be working on the portrait over here on the right hand side so i'm going to get started on the facial map Okay, so I just finished the, basically the facial map, kind of making sure that I have the drawing as set up as closely as possible to my reference, right? Now I'm going to spray this with fixative so that it stays in place, and I'm gonna to start to build up the different shades of gray using the pastels on top of this. Um, the whole point is to have good craftsmanship and to try to build the portrait, not out of the charcoal, but out of the pastel. This may take a couple of times of spraying with fixative and then fixing mistakes and then spraying, spraying with fixative. So um, I'm, I'm, gonna go sh I'm gonna show you those steps in the next time lapse. So I just sprayed this, my drawing with fixative. Now the cool thing about the pastel is that you can lightly dust it and a lot of the shading can kind of show through and help remind me where everything is supposed to go. Now, when you first start adding the shades of gray, you are only gonna be using these three pastels, your white pastel, your gray pastel, and your black pastel. And you're going to start building up kind of like the main areas of color. You're not really worried about detail at the beginning. You wanna block areas out and try to cover the paper as evenly as possible with the pastel. So like, he's a very fair person. He's a, you know, a white guy. So the background is darker than his face. And then there are shadows on his neck and the main shadows on the side of his uh, face, you know? I'm gonna try to do those with grays and blacks and try to like undulate the shades of, of gray to build those up. Where the light, the white is hitting his face. I'm gonna be building up the white, but I wanna get rid of all of the paper. The paper has to be completely covered. If it's not covered, then it doesn't look like it has good craftsmanship and that it's made well. So I'm gonna go into a time lapse and I'm gonna build up the main areas of color before I start working on details. So I've gotten past this middle stage now and everything's covered in pastel. You can still see some of the drawing underneath. As I keep on going, that's gonna keep on going away and eventually the only thing you're gonna see is the pastel. And I've gotten everything kind of gray. I have allowed the pastel to kind of make all of the areas kind of stand out as being gray. Now I need to kind of balance the extreme lights and the extreme darks, right? The areas of the face that are really, really, really white and the areas of the face that are really, 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 really dark. Right? So like if I'm looking at the picture, like he has very specific highlights on his forehead, his nose, the upper part of his cheek, his teeth are very white, right? You know, his chest is very white because it get it's getting the, the, the light, right? 
and you know certain parts of his shirt and stuff like that and also there are true blacks like his irises are his irises and the shadow under his nose and the shadows inside of his mouth are literally the darkest details <coughs> excuse me in the face so now I'm going to be using white and black to try to balance those lights and darks into the drawing and make sure that I'm putting in the, de the details where they need to be. Now, for since pastel is very bulky, um, your best friend right now is going to be a charcoal stick, okay? Uh, because in those areas that are very small, the pastel is not really going to be able to get in there and do those small details if you're working on like an average size piece of paper, right? Um, but luckily, charcoal and pastel mix really well together. And once you spray fixative on it, it all becomes the same thing anyway. So you can go in there and you can really fine tune some some uh, details in here with your charcoal and makes sure that the black is in specifically the areas where it needs to be so that it stands out, okay? So that brings us to the end of the drawing. We have a balance between the very white highlights and the darkest shadows on the face. We have all the different shades of gray. The paper is covered with the pastel so that it's more the pastel showing than the charcoal that we used at the beginning. And we have a very good structure for adding any future elements to the painting, okay? Now these grisailles, these grayscale paintings, right, are used as underpaintings. So once you spray this with charcoal, you can actually slowly add different features and colors on top of these um, pastels. Um, so that you can slowly kind of like build the drawing up so it becomes more painterly okay so this is the example for those people making the, their grisailles in pastels have a great day people